This episode of Dude Soup is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Don't let your internet activity be exposed. Protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash dude. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the Funhouse podcast. I'm hosting it. I took it over and it's mine. And I said, I'm going to do what I want. So that's why I brought some of my <laughs> friends here. Jacob, thank you for joining. Bold move, and- bringing me back to not even talk <laughs> about Star Wars or anything. <laughs> And, That's uh, the only Jay- reason I'm ever on podcasts. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, as always, James and Elise. Hey. That's, hello. Bold hello. move yes. having me here when mm-hmm. Jacob's here. Yeah. Oh, Troubles afoot. Have, There's yeah. a rivalry. <laughs> but I, I vi- invited Jacob so he could also talk to us about something else that I believe he is probably quite passionate about. Yes? Mm-hmm. Bidets. Bidets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like um, clean. Jacob and I... I feel like Jacob and I have similar gaming habits sometimes, and there was a lot this year that I think that we bonded over, playing a lot, excessive amount of Animal Crossing. Oh my right? god. It's come back um, into my life, I'll tell you soon. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about it. And yeah, oh playing yeah. uh, a lot of, well, I played a lot of Ark on an Ark server that I started, mm. and I sucked Jacob into that world. Mm-hmm, and. Mm-hmm. At this time of year, I find I find I feel like we've kind of diverged, and now we are in two separate games. Mm-hmm. But I I feel like we're spending a lot of time in those games. So why don't you tell us about the game that you're spending all your time in? All right, I know this is a, come as a big shock to everybody <laughs> who's watching right now. Surprise everybody, Florum. But I've been playing Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Can't believe Look out. you. Jake I've been is lower third. <laughs> so, uh, Jacob, you're playing did it so you... much that you're playing right now, huh? <laughs> yeah. What the heck? How'd this get here? So, Jacob, um, did, did was it 20 hours? How many hours did you put in? Oh my god. Um, yeah, we did a, a raid. A raid came out for the Beyond Light expansion like a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. and we spent 20 hours trying to do it. Whew. To like did you, consecutive hours? Yeah, yes, like, like did you nonstop. Take breaks, like there were breaks. There were breaks. There was food. There was bathrooms. Um, were there but, showers, yeah. Jacob? <laughs> no, of course not. I was <laughs> not till afterwards. I was gonna go th- through this thing well oiled and ready to go. That makes sense. I yeah, like, but it eventually I, it worked out. I like that with something like this. Like you stayed up for twenty hours. Which is not necessarily an impossible task, right? People do it all the time. But if you had said to if you had said to me, by the way, just a heads up, you're gonna be up for twenty hours tomorrow, I wouldn't look forward to the day and I'd be like, Oh, there's gonna be a point where I wanna go to sleep and I'm gonna be really tired. But when you're playing a video game like Destiny, it's like the time just disappeared. I like how the human body can just like go like, mm, don't worry about it. Not important. Hey, it did fly by, and and that's what. Hey, we were just telling ourselves from the beginning. Hey, it's gonna take a couple hours, easy peasy. Mm-hmm. And then when you we said, went over "Oh, a this bit, will take a couple hours," yeah, yeah <laughs> I mean, we kept we kept saying that to ourselves. It didn't end up being true. And I think we had our Monday morning meeting, and I looked fucking horrible. And James <laughs> was the first to ask how the raid went because mm-hmm. I think it was very evident that I'd been doing it all weekend. <laughs> I was also interested because I. I I've said it to you several times. Is now mm. the time to get back into Destiny for James Willems? Um, because I do love the game. hundred <laughs> percent. Like it's such a great game. The problem is I ask you and you always say yes. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I like I'm very interested in it. And I was also curious how it went for you because I know my experience with raids. I've never done a, 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 a first playthrough run of a raid before not knowing anything mm. about it or anything like that. Um, so I don't know what that experience is, but oh, ones where blind, you do know yeah. what to do and the hours just tick on by and then you're like, we'll just do one more hour, one more <laughs> hour, one more hour. So I was curious how it went for you. But those are the kind of great experiences that you never forget. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob, I mean, so- it was just like puzzle solving and like cool music and stuff. And just these encounters were like, oh, how do, how do we figure this out together so- and stuff? Mm-hmm. Puz- Sorry, you cut out for a second. Yeah. Sorry. What's up? I don't hear him. Do you guys hear him? No, Jacob, no, he cut Jacob's out again. Discord's cutting Uh-oh. out. Oh no, it's because he Uh-oh. loves Destiny too much. Oh no. Yeah, let me... Oh, you're back. No, you're gone. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. 
Uh, sorry, Lindsay, what were you asking? Oh, I just wanted to know, like, okay, you spend 20 hours in the raid, and, like, what is... I've, I played Destiny, like, a handful of times, like, a long time ago, and mm-hmm. it's not necessarily for me. There's other games that are similar that I think I prefer. Um, so what did you get? Did you get, like, a cool hat? Did you get cool, like, um, skin for your hover bike? What is that called? <laughs> um, oh, my sparrow. I'm glad you asked. Um... <laughs> But I bet the whenever these raids come out, there's like a 24 hour long contest in it where like it's like kind of extra hard. Um, It kind of forces you to be under leveled. So like enemies are stronger. So you have to it piles survivability on top of like puzzle mechanics on and stuff. So it makes it kind of a feat to finish it in the first 24 hours. And the award was just like an emblem. There is purple. Oh, OK. Um, and I think Did more people than what ever. What does an emblem do? Does it like make just, you better yeah. in, in the game? Nah, it's just some flair, just some bragging yeah. rights. Oh, okay. Did you level considerably during the raid? Um, yeah, yeah, because it drops like the highest level stuff. I had to do a lot of leveling beforehand because um, mm-hmm. we had to make sure we were at a certain level to actually be able to do it and sur- like be not dead the entire time. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was a little bit of prep involved, but. And the puzzle stuff wasn't super hard. We figured it out pretty quick, but then we, we just took seven hours to finish the thing because it was difficult to not die during the all the mm-hmm. encounters. Yeah. It but it's the, the biggest thing is the experience of just like doing it and solving all the puzzles and stuff together and like just beating something that you don't know how to do and that takes mm-hmm. a pretty good amount of thinking to figure out. And and you have played it again since too, right? Like you <laughs> went back and did it. Yeah, like stuff came out like it kind of weaves it into the narrative. Like the raid was finished, like mm-hmm. things happen during the raid and it affects the rest of the world. So mm-hmm. like there was a bunch of new stuff, which is kind of ironic because people beat the raid in like 13 hours or something. Mm -hmm. So then all the people that weren't raiding got to play new things. And the rest of us were still like Uh, seven hours left raiding. Is that how the story (laughs) works? Is that how it it was with spider? Trying to remember. Um, Or did he just, he just appeared. He was a vendor. He was, he wasn't a product of a raid or anything. Yeah. I think he was just part of the story. I don't remember because I always just, breeze past the story elements in destiny because it is far too confusing and convoluted <laughs> and then yeah i mean it doesn't do itself any favors it, i yeah i'm just about this shooty shooty looty looty <laughs> yeah and, which is all still great yeah for my robot friends here. um but so when the other so you you went back and did the raid the raid took you 20 hours the first time then you went yes. back and did it again how yeah, many how many times have you done it and how how long does it take how, how long did it take you on your, on your shortest <laughs> time now? that information is, is right fun. here in front of us okay. uh, let's see the time that's incorrect i think that's bugged it says five minutes uh oh. i think the fastest we did it was like 45 minutes and so so the first time took you 20 hours and then you yes. but you've managed to do it since in 45 minutes yes oh my <laughs> goodness. I've done it, according to this i've done it 12 times wow Okay. It's it, it's really fun. Like it's so fun to do. Mm-hmm. And like when everybody has it down, it's just kind of like pretty casual. Yeah. And like it's, it's like such cool stuff happens in it that just like it's just I want to do it over and over again. The thing the thing that I like about Destiny it, a lot of times is that you know obviously the raid is a bit is a larger scale version of something, but essentially all of them are the same. Like the whole game is kind of a raid. That's a cool new power mm. I've never seen. Um, the whole game is like a raid and it's like you log in every single day and the first time you do something, it's like, oh, it's this like wild new experience. But then because of how you get rewarded for things by doing them again and again, like it becomes kind of routine. So, yeah. you, you know, when I played it a lot, you'd have your, oh, you log in and you do your missions or your bounties or whatever it is your homework your chores and those are your chores and it is funny how with destiny that still happens with things that could initially take you 20 hours like they become your chores but they only take about an hour now you know like yeah i do kind of like that because it does show it's like an actual uh tactile thing for the player to feel about getting stronger and like getting more powerful as a player Mm -hmm. i really like that a lot so yeah, and like with this expansion, they took a lot of old stuff out mm-hmm. for reasons. But 
I think the things they added still have a lot of substance. And it's a lot simpler for somebody to jump in now than it was before when it was like kind of bloated and it didn't give you any direction if you were new. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of like, here's all these planets, here's all these guns, go play, good luck. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't, you don't learn anything. It's just like, okay, I have guns and I guess I'll just go to a planet and shoot stuff. Mm-hmm. But Which yeah, it's, it's good because the shooting now. is fun. I yeah, mean, it's you, the best part. You, shooting in, the shooting in Destiny is, is just great. And so you have the mechanic. I mean, I think on the flip side, games that you see Try and do what Destiny has done with the whole looter shooter or looter or whatever it may be. I mean, the closest one that I can think recently is the Avengers game. And and yeah, I don't know. Has anyone here played that? No, I played a little bit. I it I, ran horribly yeah. on my computer. Yeah, it definitely nearly destroyed my computer um, a couple <laughs> times. But uh, and I'm not trying to dunk on the game because I did play a fair amount of it. But it just didn't have like I, you once you saw the loop because all these games have that loop. Once you mm-hmm. saw the loop, I was like, I don't know that I'm enjoying playing this. Like when I'm looking down the barrel of having to do something, log in every single day for a hundred days and do the same thing over and over again. It's got to be like it's got to be super tight. And with Avengers, it wasn't tight. And like I was already staring down the barrel of being able to like having like if I really want to get this Hulk thing or whatever this power up or this armor I'm going to have to do this thing x number of times and I was like I don't think I will have fun after the like the third time right Um, and I think Destiny kind of nailed that by having just like gameplay that's just fun from moment to moment and that mm -hmm. kind of counteracts the like repetitiveness of a lot of the activities. It's just like, mm-hmm. oh, it's fun to shoot a bow and then whip out your sword and smack a dude in the face with it. Yeah. Um, and if you're playing with friends, it's like super fun. Yeah. I think one of the things is I never played Avengers with anyone else because I didn't know anyone oh. else that wanted to play. <laughs> so right. I, Jack Patillo was the only person I heard about playing it. Yeah, I know he was. Really? Play- I mean, Greg Miller. Like, I know Greg Miller's yeah, really yeah, into Greg it. Played it a bunch. Um, but I think he's playing on a different. He's playing on like PlayStation or something. I don't even Probably, know if I yeah. can play with him. Um, so I know that's something that's missing. But there were several times with Destiny though where I would just log in alone. Like it wasn't required for me to have friends that also play Destiny, but it did help right. for those big raids. Yeah. When you do and, the, like, those big raids, how many people do you does it take? Um, it's only six. Oh, um, six. Yeah, which like I actually don't know the answer to this, Lindsay. But like, how many people are in like a World of Warcraft raid? It's a lot, right? Um, it's it's got a various amount. Um, I'm per- I'm trying to get the game running, but there was just server maintenance. I was gonna show off a little bit of my game. Jake was gonna show off a little bit of his game. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get the load, but um, a raid is uh ten to to up to forty. You know, there's different tiers that you do. Mm-hmm. So ten people, and then a regular 40, sort of wow. dungeon, which is just an instance. So and it doesn't take as long. It's usually only like thirty to forty five minutes. Is five people. So mm-hmm. yeah, there's there's also that something very similar in Destiny, which I'm sure takes direct inspiration from like MMOs, like real MMOs, like yeah. World of Warcraft is like um, Destiny does have dungeons as well that are only three people, and they're like a little longer have some slightly more complex uh, mechanics than like the strikes, which is just kind of like a three man mission Mm -hmm. where you just, there's a boss at the end and you kill Mm -hmm. it and it takes like 15 minutes or so to get through. But there are dungeons in this game that are three people you have to like, or you can do it by yourself. They're all, I think when they design them, they design them to be able to be done alone and then kind of iterate on that and make it tougher Mm -hmm. and reasonable for three people to do it. Um, but it's one of the best things that they put in this game for the past couple of years and Mm -hmm. more people should do them. I'm always looking for excuses to run people through dungeons. (laughs) You are one of the, you are truly a destiny community powerhouse because (laughs) not only do you play the game to enjoy it, but there are countless times where you've played the game to help someone else enjoy it. Like mm. I, I know obviously you're getting something out of it, which is getting to play more destiny, but like there've been <laughs> numerous times where you're like, well, I wasn't planning on playing tonight, but if you were going to log on, I will log on and show you what to do in that new dungeon or that new thing or help you get mm-hmm. through a strike or whatever. And so. Yeah, Those are it's the like, best kinds of people in the, in a, in a gaming community. I feel like. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like sometimes, you know, there's something cool in a game and maybe the game doesn't do the best job of pointing people towards like doing that or how to do it. Mm-hmm. So it's like you want people to actually have this cool experience that, you know, is there and, that you know, that they'll enjoy. Mm-hmm. So the best way to um, like introduce them to it is to like kind of nudge them into it. Mm hmm. Uh, Lindsay, I'm curious because you said that you're playing World of Warcraft, a game I've never, never, ever played. Um, yeah, so I, I was going to say, I don't think any of you guys have played like this game before, right? No, or ever will, probably. But yeah, um, and I, <laughs> go ahead. I was just going to say, but it's because there was new DLC, right? There was a new expansion. So, yeah, there was an there was a new expansion that came out and this is perfect because it actually is loading now for the first time. So maybe I can actually show you the game. Um, uh, So the expansion just came out. It's like the sixth expansion or something. You know, the game is 16 years old. There's Mm -hmm. miles and miles of content. Um, And I definitely fell back into the hole. But the difference, uh, I think, with, with with me and Jacob here is where Jacob is like, yes, come play. Like, oh, I'll show you these cool things. Like, <laughs> I'd be more than happy to do those, but I would never tell somebody to play this game <laughs> because <laughs> it will. It's just sort of that thing where it doesn't always ruin my life. But when I get into it and I'm like, should I play World of Warcraft? Mm-hmm. I'm playing World of Warcraft and I'm not doing much else. So mm-hmm. um, I, it's not the kind of game where I'm like, yeah, you should try it. Because, like, mm-hmm. you shouldn't try it, dude. <laughs> but now is the time for all of these, right? Like, now is the time for all of these. Screw it. I'm going to go back into, like, whatever oh, yeah. it is, you know? Definitely. And, and you know, I am, you know, not going anywhere for the next couple of weeks. Like, I'm going to be mm. here. And I'm going to put my time into this game, like, 100%. Okay, look, the game is up, so if you want to see what I'm looking at... Oh, yeah, flip is, it over. We got is there it. a progression that you're working on? Because So you basically picked up a character that you had last played when? When was the last time, or did you start a new character? Or, what, like, how did, what did you do to get back into it? So I've had uh, this character for 10 years. Um, wow. I don't know if Cody... It's not sending. My gameplay is not sending, of course. <laughs> We know what it looks like. Everyone close their eyes and picture <laughs> picture big blocky dwarves. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it is. There we go. Here I am. Um, so, yeah, this is my character. <laughs> this I've is had a her game for- that's 16 years old. <laughs> I love that this is a game that you're playing now. It looks like it, in a movie, if they had to make up a fake yeah. game for the, the star of the movie to be, for the, the protagonist <laughs> in the movie to be playing, this mm-hmm. would be it. Yep. Yeah, yeah so this that. is um, me, and uh, I... I pick up this character every time I pick up the game and I'm like, mm-hmm. I want to play. I was playing in September or maybe like late July, uh, August. I was playing in the fall. I put some time into it. And obviously the expansion came out. So I've been playing a lot in the last two weeks. I can look at my played time on the character and it says that I've played this game on this character for 80 days, 6 hours, 41 minutes, and 43 Whoa. seconds. And... So what that's a my, lot. But that's my Maybe that's a lot. Civilization. Either <laughs> rock band or civilization are my probably longest play mm-hmm. game. I'm I'm sure it's not it's definitely not the most out of anybody who's played WoW because people put massive hours into this game. But this is <clears> a, a definite investment investment of my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, investments Overall, generally that. imply returns. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, I feel like I have grown in this game and it's only valuable in this game, obviously, but I am a much better player than I was okay. uh, before. All right. All right. So, I so Jacob, I don't know that much about Destiny. Uh, I don't know like the story. I know like Elise was saying it's shooting and looting. Mm-hmm. Um, do you play it for like the story? Is it got a good story? Like, I don't know anything um, that, about it. That's something that's kind of evolved for me over time. Um, Because, like, Destiny from, like, the get-go, from the very first game, like, the story was, like, it was terrible and it just made no sense. Um, I mean, look, there's a story taking place right now. Well, and it's funny when you think back to Destiny and and the the relic of Peter Dinklage. (laughs) Or no, it's not Dinklage. Dinklage? It was Dinklage. Dinklage. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, oh, man. his Back involvement. Back when they would get, like, all these celebrity voice actors that they can't oh, yeah. keep bringing back. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, it was the story was, like, such a weak point. But 
like over time, it's something they would try to inject more of. And because like I'm investing more time into it because it's fun, um, then it makes me want to like dive into like the lore stuff just to contextualize everything. Because I think like I'll get more out of this thing I do all like do all the time if yeah. I like start learning more about it. I was just showing I was just showing off before we started recording that one of my lore books arrived today. Gonna be reading <laughs> this. Wow, it's so wow. pretty. <laughs> I know it smells good too. Thank, thank God. We're, I think we're very lucky to be in this era of video games because you can do stuff like get a lore book and putting it on a bookshelf. It's totally fine. Like it's totally fine. Not even just because mm -hmm. of like the connotation of having a lore book, but like the look of it, the presentation of the book, it's all good. It all looks good and it looks really nice and everything yeah. like that because it wasn't that long ago that if you wanted to like go deeper into a game, you'd get this floppy thing. <laughs> this or it's a, or maybe it's across four or five different e like electronic gaming monthly magazines, and they all have like one has uh like terrible Crash Bandicoot unofficial Crash Bandicoot art on the front, like, and that was the presentation <laughs> of it. At least now you can get a lore book that allows you to get more immersed in a game like this, and it looks like a book, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like th this whole expansion's taken like some pretty good strides towards actually telling like a good story in the game rather than like mm -hmm. on the toilet. Um I have um, to ask Lindsay, so you, now you are an elk, a spirit <laughs> elk and you're running through this neon land? Yes. So, uh this neon land. One of the things that came out with this expansion is like picking these sort of like I would compare them to um Hogwarts houses. They're called covenants, Ooh, okay. and you choose one to to kind of like align yourself with, and they mm -hmm. give you special abilities. And mm -hmm. one of my special abilities with the covenant that I've chosen, which is the covenant of night fairies and one with the earth and oh, beautiful, mm -hmm. is that I can shape shift into little, you know, I, I'm a I'm a deer, I'm a rune stag, excuse me, okay, a rune course. stag. It was my nickname right in high now. school. I also have a um. Little vulpin. Yeah, you're followed by a lot of stuff. There's a what is that? Oh, I'm a hunt. So my my class that I play is a hunter. I <gasps> I'm a hunter, different hunter, I, but I'm a hunter. Yeah. yeah, I'm a hunter. So <laughs> basically, I can tame and collect all sorts of beasts. So I have a cat and a dragon with me, right? Of a starry dragon. I was gonna say, can, yeah, you've managed to you've managed to uh, domesticate a cat and um, what is that? Uh, yeah. Orion's this, belt. This is a, <laughs> yes, and then this is a core hound, um, but yeah. So, you, uh, like I was saying, I can be these little like I'm a fox now, you know. So, so, so the so the the new the new DLC came out for World of Warcraft, and then you're like, yes. yeah, I'm gonna play it. Have you basically like gotten through the new DLC? That like is there? I know you oh, think no, there's James. a raid coming. I will okay, be doing the new DLC for the next two years. Okay. Um, <laughs> basically the way that like World of Warcraft does like their game is they they release the expansion and you can level up and suddenly you're leveling up the next 10 levels. So yeah, and then won't they keep 50. raising that level cap? Well, they do that with each expansion, but then mm -hmm. throughout but then, the years until the next expansion, they release patches like yeah. the game which just offers a new little part of the story. So mm -hmm. in a couple of months, we'll probably get the first like big patch. And then it'll be like this whole new chunk of the story. And so that way you go and so and you're no longer leveling that, but you're leveling up your character and like they'll put new mounts in the game and and new cool gear and, and things you can look like. So a lot of people play just to be like the best, like mm -hmm. I'm the best and I'll own anybody against anybody else. A lot of people want to be the best and number one in like doing the story event raids and Lindsay? stuff. I play because I want to look like a cool fucking fox and I want to have like a frog mount, which I have, and I'll show you. <laughs> I appreciate that. There like, it is. I, it's a I'm frog. all about fashion mm. in in video games, especially ones that I play. Oh my god, that is a mm -hmm. wonderful yeah. frog. Right so into noble. Battle. Yeah, right into battle on that one. <laughs> wow. I also have a sort of Baby Yoda esque cradle. I call it the Baby Yoda cradle. Okay. It's a cradle. Oh yeah, oh, you just float yeah, around in that. You. 
So this is this is what I like. This is why I play. I think the story is mm. really cool. Like I like uh -huh. the whole lore of Warcraft. I'm kind of into that, and because I think that it's got a lot of cool things. I'm like, that's cool. I'm riding mm -hmm. around in this, and I look cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like this crown. It's not a real piece of gear that I <clears throat> like is doing anything for me. I just yeah, yeah. I skinned it that way. So now I'm wearing a crown. I oh, see. So you're all you're all you're all about the like all about the flair. Yeah, you can have so in my, WoW. My my actual piece of gear is like this, like scary, which is also pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty this, cool. Like, mm -hmm. Scary mask. Mm -hmm. Guys, I have my but, own gaming confession to make. <gasps> oh yes, this is what I wanted. I wanted us all to do our go. gaming confessions. <laughs> Stealthy or not, I have been playing Animal Crossing for the duration <gasps> of this podcast because I oh told Chief and Hunter I would do a gameplay with them, and then I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't pick up this game for like months at a time. <laughs> uh, and they they're in a toy thing right now. Or yeah, there's Christmas toys. things. Uh oh, Animal Crossing confession. <laughs> oh yes, do you have one? <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing it right now, but I have been playing. I caught a pond smelt yesterday, and the game told me I caught every fish, and that was kind oh of a wake-up Oh my goodness, up thing. Jacob. I have a quick Animal Crossing story, which I don't know if I talked about it in a video or already, but I, I bought oh. the um, mm. Animal Crossing Switch uh, mm -hmm. because I saw it in stock, and I said, I want that, and mm -hmm. I'm depressed, and I want that. So yeah. I bought it for myself. And I then learned that you couldn't just transfer your island you right. can transfer everything else on your switch but you can't transfer your island so i created a new character and i began the very lengthy process of sending oh my, my new character money yeah. and items and i was like okay i'll put this down and i'll pick it back up and i was using my boyfriend's switch as like a little place to dump all my stuff mm -hmm. and just like leave it there and come pick it back up later mm -hmm. um so he's his island's covered in crap <laughs> and <laughs> i haven't touched it in like a couple of weeks and now yeah. I've learned that the, you can transfer islands now. They introduced yep. it like shortly after. It's, it boggles my mind that that must have been like last week. Yeah, Nintendo. I the love gamers Nintendo. Gamer. Yeah, sometimes Nintendo does such a great job like building hype for themselves, but then they also do other things that don't make any sense at all. And you're like, <laughs> I know you can do this. Why are Why you not? not doing this? <laughs> all video games can do this. Yeah. Oh, anyway, man, so. so that's why I've only been playing World of Warcraft. Real quick, before we kind of dive deeper into maybe some more fun stories, mm -hmm. uh, just going to hear a quick word from our sponsor. The curators at Bespoke Post have done it again this winter with an all-new lineup of box of awesome collections guaranteed to upgrade your life. James and I have got this great, <laughs> I always talk about it, but this great Zwilling knife. It's awesome. I can't even touch it because it's so sharp. But if you like cooking, which he does a lot, it was a boon. Whether it's showcase pieces to level up your indoor hosting skills or cozy threads for these blustery days, Bespoke Post sends guys the best stuff every month. No matter what you're into, Box of Awesome has you covered. Styling, grooming goods, barware, cooking tools, outdoor gear. It's collections for every part of your life from Box of Awesome. Right now, I'm just checking out the site and there are decanters. There's a pancake making kit with a frying pan. There's knives, more knives. There's personal grooming kits. It all looks great. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers help them pick the right box for you. New boxes come every month, tons of different categories. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. Each box costs only 45 bucks, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. So right now, get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code DUDE at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code D-U-D-E, DUDE, for 20% off your first box. Thank you, Box of Awesome. Earlier this year, more than 100 Twitter users got their accounts hacked into. Passwords, email addresses, phone numbers, and more. All taken from high-profile people like Joe Biden, Elon Musk, and even Kanye West. These kinds of attacks are getting more frequent and more severe, and it's not just Twitter. Facebook, eBay, Uber, Adobe, and Yahoo have leaked data such as passwords, credit card info, and driver's license belonging to billions of users. Look, if someone can hack Joe Biden, just think about how easy it could be to hack somebody like you or me. That's why I use ExpressVPN to safeguard my personal data online. According to recent reports, hackers can make up to $1,000 from selling someone's personal information on the dark web, making people like me and you 
easy and lucrative targets. ExpressVPN is an app that funnels your data through a secure encrypted tunnel so that no matter what device you use, you can have peace of mind every time you use the internet. The app connects with just one click, it's lightning fast, and the best part of ExpressVPN is it works on up to five devices simultaneously, so you and your whole family can stay protected. If a breach can happen to powerful individuals, it can easily happen to you. Protect yourself with ExpressVPN, the VPN rated number one by CNET, Wired, and countless others. And if you visit expressvpn.com slash dude right now, you can arm yourself with an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash dude. Visit expressvpn.com slash dude to learn more. We're back and we're going to talk more about video games and how mad I am at Nintendo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Let it loose. Give it to them, Blitzy. They need to hear this. <laughs> and they Not are really listening. mad. Animal Crossing's made me the happiest I've been in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think Animal Crossing I was know. great for me when that first wave of like being isolated happened. Yeah. Like, because like we were oh, yeah. going to each other's islands and we were staying in contact with each other to discuss. You we had know, something new to talk about. We were, oh, yeah, we had it was a common thing. And, you know, that's essentially mm -hmm. what socialization is, is like finding things that in common and like being able to converse on those. Um, but it's not going to do that for me now. <laughs> Everyone's now that everyone went back to their own independent playing and their own independent needs. And, and yeah, what were, I don't even yeah. turnups don't matter anymore. Like, cause no, they don't. Is that, is no, that I'm just saying like, no, they, they don't, do. for they us. don't matter to him. They don't, yeah. they don't matter. It's, it's not like a thing. It used to be a thing that we would all I message know. I thought, each other. I thought maybe you were Ugh. saying that they eliminated it from the no, game. I meant, for, I meant for me personally, oh, no. like there's just like, Those, you know, the people Those that wanted to get days. rich got rich, yeah. right? Like they're done. They've they're wealth. I, they have wealth beyond belief and stuff. I started enjoying Animal Crossing a hundred percent more when I stopped caring about turnips. Mm -hmm. After okay. benefit, be after benefit, benefiting from them, of course. But yeah, yeah. but once I stopped, like okay, I need I need to not buy turnips this weekend. It's gonna it just takes over my brain. Um, instead of I, just worrying about them. For me this year, I feel like I've used this time to actually start and finish games mm -hmm. i like that's been what my games have you finished thing. i'm trying to think i mean i feel like i've beaten i mean final fantasy games that i would have probably like lost maybe track of otherwise um but like mm -hmm. i beat final fantasy remake which is you know a, i put a lot of hours into that game um more than i'm used to putting into a single player experience uh last of us part two we beat um, I feel like there's been uh, several like smaller we played, games um, that came out. Oh, it's an, that older game. Uh, older game. Hell, World of Warcraft. He uh, Hellblade. <laughs> oh yeah, Hellblade. Hellblade. Went back and played Hellblade. Um, I play that. You played a bunch of Hades. I I basically yeah, I basically beat Hades. Like I did that. I um Scott. Uh, Super Mario 3D Mario on the Switch and beat Galaxy again. Like I got a oh, yeah. hundred, I got 120 <laughs> stars in Galaxy again. I recently downloaded, or I have, I've been playing Demon Souls, and like I'm, I would have quit that game a hundred times already if it wasn't for the fact that I look outside and realize I can't go outside. <laughs> like, and so I can't go. <laughs> I must um, stay and play. Yeah, I feel like there's that. Even I was telling Lindsay beforehand, so that we, we have the video hasn't come out yet, but Lindsay did a casino simulator where we went to go gamble in a casino and <laughs> Lindsay and I found a common appreciation for slot machines. We both like seeing the bonuses of slot machines and I was like, I wish that there was just a way that I could just play a slot machine game or just like find YouTube videos of slot machines because I just like seeing the bonuses. That's what I like. Yeah. Like it says, oh, it's whatever. And you get to see the bonuses. And so I ended up downloading a slot machine app <laughs> on my phone, which is what? actually like tied into casinos and stuff. Um, oh. So like it's like, oh, do you want to play some of the games that are at the Bellagio or whatever? Like MGM Grand. And it has these different things in them. And so I downloaded it and it's free. Like it asks you to pay money to get extra coins or whatever but i never i never spent any money on it and uh so i played it and i basically went through almost every single slot machine and got the bonus on all of them i just kept Wait, making money i was like called? making millions and millions and millions of of 
<laughs> chips or whatever. And uh, which one is this one called? Sorry, I'm just this one was. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me look it up. This one was my Vegas slots. Um, okay. And so just re- for research. <laughs> so I but yeah, so I basically like got super rich in that game by playing the slot machines and winning bonuses and you level up. And when you level up, you unlock more and more new slot machines that you can then download. And then I basically leveled up max leveled my character with quotation finger quotes. Max leveled my character <laughs> in the yeah. slot machine app game and unlocked all of the uh slot machines and then basically went through and just played until I would get the bonus. So it's like, oh, there's the Peter Jackson's King Kong slot machine. <laughs> and I would play it until I got the bonus. And then as soon as I got the bonus, I would move on. And then uh, and the last one was some sort of kangaroo game. And it was like max level 69 or something like that. If you reach six level 69, you get the last one. Downloaded that one, played it until I got the kangaroo bonus. And then that left me with like 60 million the kangaroo bonus. <laughs> yeah, or whatever it was, 60 million yes, chips. And then I just went to the game that I enjoyed most, which is like a almost James Bond spy themed game. And then I just did like a million dollar bet. Every spin was a million dollars. And then I just did it. And I was like, I'm just going to I'm just going to get rid of all of my money because it's I've beaten the game and this is me rolling the credits on it. <laughs> And if I win huge, awesome. But if I don't, then all the money's gone and I won't feel compelled to turn it on ever again. And so I just spent down all of my 60 million chips on this one slot machine until I got to zero. <laughs> and I got to zero and the game went, the game said, don't worry, we'll help you keep playing. And it gave me an extra free <laughs> three million or whatever. And then I just, I, so then I just max bet all that three and then lost. And then I was like, all right, I beat the game. What, yeah, what did you turn to me and say? He uh, said, I think he said, I beat the slot machine game. Yeah. I, I I'm, Without any prompting. <laughs> I beat uh, the slot machine or game. Or prefacing. <laughs> well, James, minus, like, mm-hmm. minus all the movie tie-ins, you basically described my Destiny experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're almost indistinguishable from each other, minus the movie tie-ins and the guns. Mm-hmm. But same yeah. loop. It's got yeah. its funny, grips in me. The funniest thing to me is that... Um, you turned to me when you know we were shooting something, and you said, "Got this slot, the slot machine game on my phone." Mm-hmm. And a couple months prior to that, I had been playing these same kinds of games, and I was laying in bed like as if I had this dirty secret. I was playing this <laughs> slot machine game, and every time no like shame. my boyfriend would come into the room, he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like nothing. <laughs> like I'm not playing slot machine games. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? You know, because it, it was just fun. It's fun if you enjoy gambling or even like you know casually like being in casinos. Like it's really fun and watching those bonuses trigger. And even mm-hmm. if you only win like five bucks, even when you're losing, like you get a little bit of money back, but it's you still didn't make your money back. <laughs> it's just fun and it gives you like that rush, right? So yeah, yes. I, I was having a good time. And then when you turned to me and said that, I was like. Oh my God! We're gonna talk about these slot we're machine ba- games, I, and I, now you we I'm sending you, you videos. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Because now Lindsay's been I sending me videos. I watch slot videos. <laughs> <laughs> we might find it laughable to think that somebody would play a game that's a replica of a slot machine in which there's no money at stake. But Lindsay's mm-hmm. right. The original slot machines are designed to instigate those kind of emotional responses as you're yeah. playing them and keep you invested. So. I'm sure that even if you're playing it and it's not real money, it's doing the same Pavlovian it's thing. It's doing the I mean, same thing, yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm also not naive. Gambling right. is a net loss venture. It is, a, it's, yes. a, it's an activity, it, like any sort of other recreational activity. It's an activity that you pay for for time. And yes. For entertainment. S- and for That's entertainment. What you're for. And yeah. yes, sometimes. The occasional person might win something out of it. There is that, mm-hmm. but it's literally built so that way you don't. It is it is built in statistically, and statistics are really hard for humans to wrap their head around. But it is statistically <laughs> set up in such a way that you do not win. You will not win. So for me, yeah. gambling gambling has always been a my relationship with entertainment. It's the same, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's, so it's a it's a cost time versus cost kind of thing. And yeah. you're spending uh, money to be entertained. Exactly. And you want it to be worthwhile. So th- removing the making money side of slot machines or gambling, don't bother me. 
because I wasn't planning to make any in the first place. <laughs> like, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's a so, nice bonus yeah. if you can win when you win. It's like, oh, wow, okay. When when I yeah. sit down at the Wizard of Oz, uh, you know, ruby slipper slots um, in in some casino, it's because I want to see what, I want to see that big wheel spin. <laughs> I want the lights to go off <laughs> and I want to see the yeah. wheel spin, not because I actually think that I'm going to make any money on it. I've talked about it before, but... My favorite slot machine of all time is the Top Gun slot machine. And I'm sure there's a more, much more updated one than there was in the mid 2010s or whatever. But the Top Gun slot machine was great. It's so entertaining. And it have flybys and like sounds and like all oh, kinds cool. of like there would be. Shucks. Oh, no. Jacob, Jacob died. That hunter. There, what death? I'm, there was oh, like oh. a. Yeah, like a Tomcat bonus that I'm would also happen. dying, apparently. What? I don't know what's happening weird. in the game. Yeah, you too. Oh, you guys are having a great time. Um, and, yeah, but I didn't play it because guys. I thought I was going to win money. I played it because I thought it was fun. It felt like a video game. So <laughs> downloading it and playing a slot machine for free, don't bother me at all. I love it. It really all comes down wow. to just like colors and lights and sounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, it all comes down to the fact that we clearly all have too much time. <laughs> this is removed is uh, there's uh, I need more something. more time so this is a new game Lindsay that we're watching World of Craft here or something's <laughs> happening I is this literally this this has never happened to me before and the one day when I'm like I'm gonna show you guys my well they're doing server maintenance you lost time. me this is like the one time someone a friend of mine tried to get me to watch Buffy she was like I love Buffy it's my favorite show and I want you to watch Buffy and I said you know what you're my friend I will let you show, uh, I want you to show, share Buffy with me. I want to see Buffy. Mm -hmm. And then she, she picked an episode and she put it on and it was terrible. And, and then <laughs> afterwards, afterwards she went, wait, no, no, that was a bad episode. And I was like, you had your shot. So Lindsay, you had your shot to win me on World of Warcraft. <laughs> oh no, it. I was not trying to win anybody on this. Like I said in the beginning, don't play this game because mm -hmm. you know you have better things to do with your time. Um, oh, I Nabi, don't I'm... know what's happening. This, like I said, <laughs> oh, and I'm gone. One of the things go. I always liked about World of Warcraft, and I'm dead, is how you can move the UI around. Like it's like. And I get oh, it. Yeah. It's like a customization thing, but I'm all. It also, to me, says like the dev goes, "Whatever, we don't care. <laughs> put your stuff well, where you want yes, it to go." Yes, I, I can see that because it it does send the message of we haven't put the time into creating the most artful, deliberate <laughs> arrangement for you. Like we've done all the testing, we've come to uh, to an to a conclusive finding of what the optimal setup is for this. Yeah, like there's that perspective. Um. But then there's the opposite perspective, which is, well, we want you to feel comfortable and have the setup that you want the most. So we're giving you, the player, the power. I appreciate power that. Power to the player. But then, like you said, it also feels like... I'm not a game designer. Yeah, well, right? You tell me what's and best. You tell me what's best. <laughs> Even with, the, uh, you know, World of Warcraft, like being able to, like, you know, move my... Normally it's up here. I like it down here so I can see it close to my buttons. But, like, this thing at the top, this is from an add-on. My bag is from an add-on. Like, see, yeah, I would say what the bags look like I just though, do whatever I want. The the WoW streamers, as far as I know, are are not really like. Is it? Can you get successful streaming WoW? I've always there's I've always been told one that, like, very large streamer. I mean, okay. there's a couple, but there's one who's like massive. Is the biggest <laughs> okay. one. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, because maybe it was you, Lindsay, that was like. You, there's not people that are, there's not a huge audience for watching people play WoW. This is so why there will never be. I'm not gonna say never because like maybe there's some weird clown bit, circus bit we do. We just play whatever and we play WoW. It's, we're not going to play this game in a video. I'm just gonna say, it. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to play it in a video. I don't even really stream this game because nobody wants to watch me play WoW. <laughs> Which is why I'm making I, you guys what? watch me there's play well. <laughs> I still think that there's one, you know, Hungarian prince that if if he saw you playing World of Warcraft, he would say yes. <laughs> and that would that would be the one Twitch sub that you would oh, need. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, um, but I do think if you can customize your UI and your streamer and and you know you're like, well, I want it to have my some feeds or mm -hmm. other graphics. That's kind of cool. It's yeah. kind of neat. It seems more like they know that there are like engineers or whatever. Like they know that the game exists. The game doesn't belong to them anymore. <laughs> right? Like it's it's <laughs> they been gave out it there. Back to the people. It's been out for so long that it's at a certain point they said, you know what? This is yours now. 
So you can move the little name tag down to the bottom if you want. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Um, I, yeah. you know, I, I do, like, I just make it look like it's, however, it's whatever's useful for me, you know, however it makes I, sense for me. I, I, so speaking of things making sense, again, this is me admitting never having played World of Warcraft. And this is yes. standard. This is pure 100% standard MMO stuff. All, so all those buttons are, 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 you value all of those buttons there on the bottom? There's like 50 buttons there and you need them the all? The buttons are the thing that I think when I first started playing, I hated most about this game. Mm-hmm. I, I, it, did, it doesn't make sense. It just didn't make fucking sense to me because I wasn't a big MMOer. I can mm-hmm. say that because for 20 years of my life, I was not. I did not play them. I didn't mm-hmm. play this as a teenager. I wasn't like, oh, World of Warcraft in my life. I started playing 10 years ago, which is a long time, but I was coming from like The Sims and like Call mm-hmm. of Duty and like games that just made sense in that way. So me being like, and and uh, Brett was actually one of the first people who I played with. And he's like, what do you don't get it? It's it's the World of Warcraft. What did you, what don't you get? I'm like, well, it runs. <laughs> and then like additionally, that's not, you yeah, have a spell not. book, which is where you drag the buttons from. When yeah. I first started playing, I'm just like opening my spell book and I'm like, okay. I'm going to cast that now. And mm-hmm. I would do that. And that it's a mistake a lot of people make. Because sometimes they're just like, well, it's in my spell book. Do I cast it from my spell I book? I mean, no, I, Lindsay, no, you don't. But if if my I hate biggest this game. in-game experience <laughs> with a book is the Thievius Raccoonus, can I make the transition to the World of Warcraft? Yeah, I absolutely. Think so. I think so. I can't. And I won't, but I appreciate you both. <laughs> you could, <laughs> but you shouldn't. That's my, that's the, what I'll say about it is you could, but you shouldn't. Lindsay, Lindsay, um, you're much more considerate about like other people's experiences. I methodically lure people into <laughs> destiny with me. Mm-hmm. I find like, what's the most rewarding thing you can do in here that doesn't take that much time? I'll have them do that to get mm-hmm. its hooks in them. Yeah, yeah. And then they're yeah. trapped and well, they can't stop. Even even Monster Hunter, you were trying to because I played that for a little bit, but then it kind of lost yeah. me. But then you, every single time we go, Jacob, there are twelve new DLCs for Monster Hunter. Do you think it's going to be overwhelming for me to get back into it now? <laughs> and then you're like, you're like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> and, I, and then and then I would like maybe almost boot it up and I go, no, I don't trust him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't trust Monster him. Hunter is such a bad jo- It's like, it's so clunky. You gotta like, if you want to do co-op with your friends, you gotta let them watch all their cutscenes, mm-hmm. and then you gotta, they gotta quit, and then you can play with them. Yeah. And it's, it's, it makes, it's like Nintendo not having like save transfers for Animal Crossing. It's all just like, this is all thing. these are all things that exist in video games that are so streamlined, mm-hmm. but in this game it has to be like a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Well, we At used least to, when we used to play. there is a mini game, sorry, I was just gonna say there's a mini game in in World of Warcraft, where you play plants versus zombies, okay. And once you once you do the quest line, <laughs> then you get a little plant. You get a little what the where the frick is my oh my well, god she can't find it. She has all these buttons. She can't find her plant. <laughs> She's got the gamer rage. Yeah, it's <laughs> She's off mic going around right there. I already, <laughs> I already gave up. I'm like, I can't find it. I was gonna show so you. Okay, my son. So, like, what, so there's like a, a plant that you can put somewhere. So it's like a little companion. It like follows oh. you around. So like, do you have a little house like Animal things Crossing? Things. You decorate World of Warcraft? No, they did that kind uh, of concept ooh. like with a different expansion and. People just didn't really like that much, but Ooh, I do so have did. this like toucan. Did. Where did he go? Look him down there. You see him down there? There he oh, is. Oh, it's a toucan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh the fruit hunter. hunter. I get it. Right, Lindsay. Does he sound like Zazu? <laughs> hey, he doesn't speak. Where oh, the heck is this? Uh, oh. That's why. Look at the so many <laughs> menus into sub menus into sub menus. <laughs> this is exactly why. And I get it. The game is 16 years old, but this is how it always looked to me for for whatever what? reason. Well, there you go. Do you want to play the game now, Elise? It's from oh, that other it's game. Oh, plant. Is Plants vs Zombies? Yeah. Yeah, he's from That's Plants. Cool. So there's like a a quest chain where you play the mini game in the and it's like four or five quests. It's, what other? And you play Plants vs Zombies, and at the end you get a little. Plant friend. What other games have this? Is why I play <laughs> cross clubs with WoW. 
It's got to have been a bunch, huh? Can you get like a Pepsi or something? (laughs) (laughs) There's, I mean, there's like Overwatch stuff, but that's Blizzard. Mm -hmm. So, um... Oh, I, I guess don't know. Maybe, maybe zombies maybe is Activision I too, right? I I did play Heroes of the Storm only because Overwatch was in it. That's right. Because then Overwatch was other than Lost Vikings, Overwatch was the first Blizzard game that I ever played, um, and it did manage to lure me into other Blizzard games, albeit very briefly. But wasn't Joel actually into Heroes of the Storm? Yeah, I think he liked it. I think he liked it. Um, but these are games I would never otherwise play if it wasn't for the fact that it had crossover stuff in it or or what have you. Um, but then as soon as I got bored of that, I was done with the game because kind of going back to the Destiny thing initially, think you can do all these bells and whistles and things to get you into the game, but unless you are inherently bought into what the game is, it it, mm-hmm. it won't matter, you know? So if you're not into kind of what Lindsay's doing, slithering around on this castle... Um, <laughs> And, or whatever, <laughs> like you might mind, not be bought in. Riddler's mind worm. Mm-hmm. Some mount that I got Ooh. for doing a series of puzzles in World of Warcraft. I have a couple of mounts. Wait, are there, there puzzles? Yeah, there's <laughs> puzzles. They, are there cool things in World of Warcraft? Of course, a giant camel. A camel. Um, are there yeah, cool you things? You can in, have somebody ride this with you. Like, is there any like user generated stuff? in wow like can you go to a place where someone has used the game engine in wow to build like an escape room kind of like we've done with uh uh uh, like csgo has all kinds of that stuff and you know obviously half-life source engine has all kinds of those cool things is there any of that in wow no okay (laughs) <laughs> actually I, I don't know puzzles. if people do that kind of stuff on like private servers but like it, on the blizzard servers it's pretty much just the world Vanilla. and what they give to you Let's see, tell me more about these puzzles yeah tell them so about there was puzzles. a series of puzzles where you had to go and like look for a little thing and, oh there it is and follow the clues based on like the in-game lore and go it, it was sort of mm-hmm. like um what are those things called where you go pick the thing and you get the next clue scavenger hunt that's what we're looking oh. for there's a there's a book that I'm I'm reading right now where a character has to do a test and they get the test and all the te- the questions are so difficult and then they read through the entire test and realize that the first half of the questions has context clues that help solve the second half of the questions and vice mm-hmm. versa. And I was like that's pretty cool. If I was if I was like a school teacher, I would give my students tests like that. I'm not going to see if any time. of them were smart enough to solve it. No, I buy I buy workbook from online, hand them workbook. <laughs> <laughs> then quit as teacher. <laughs> it's your final curse of all. <laughs> I did Either have a way. teacher once that gave the school a test on April 1st, April Fool's Day, or gave the class a uh-huh. test mm-hmm. where the fr- one of the instructions was read through the entire test. Yeah. And, of course, if you had read through the entire test, then you would know that it was an April Fool's joke and that all you were supposed to oh. do was just turn the test over and not yep. do it. Yep. Only, oh. one, only one person in my class actually nah. did it. That was A that. class of, like, oh. 30 people. Upset, upset didn't. They, that, they tried that with me. That, that happened several times in my, in my class schooling where some teacher would think they were real clever. We were, like, seven. And then, <laughs> and it, but it would be, yeah, it'd be impossible. It'd be impossible to do it. Like, it'd be impossible to finish the test in time normally without, unless you get to question 10, you say, just write your name at the top and turn the paper over. And I, but I was always, like, I was the kind of kid who if I got into that and then I saw someone else turn their paper over, I go, mm, something's up with this test. <laughs> Even if I hadn't read everything, like, I go, mm, I don't think that kid would, no, there's no way he would have finished that test faster than me. Using or what your have environment. You. I, I definitely use the environmental context clues when trying to solve that situation. But yeah, there. I think that happened once where I didn't read all the way through. And then ever since that point, anytime someone hands me a test, I read the whole thing. Even if it's like at the DMV. <laughs> I, I, even if it's at the DMV or whatever, I'll read the whole test all the way through because I, I don't trust that at the bottom there may not be a thing that says just sign your name and turn it over for 100 points. <laughs> Sounds like you were learning to raid before you was raiding. I was traumatized by, by the public educational system, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> so I w- we can um, like kind of wrap up conversation, but real quick, I want to hear one more word from our other sponsors. This holiday season, more people will be mailing stuff than ever before. This means the post office is going to 
to be busy. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have time for that. Stamps.com brings the post office and now UPS shipping right to your computer. Mail and ship anything from the convenience of your home or office with stamps.com. Anything you can do with the post office, you can do now with just a few clicks. Plus, stamps.com saves you money with deep discounts that you can't even get at the post office. You know what I'm saying? It brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. As I said, simple. Use your computer to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Timbuktu, Bermuda Triangle. This is what I'm saying. I can't confirm, though. Once your mail is ready, you just pick, schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's that simple. With Stamps.com, you get five cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail and 62% off UPS shipping rates. Okay? It's a no-brainer. Save you time and money. Over 900,000 small businesses already use Stamps.com. Don't spend a minute of your holiday season at the post office this year. Sign up for Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With our promo code DUDE, D-U-D-E, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage in a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in DUDE. Stamps.com, enter DUDE. Never go to the post office again. Thank you, Stamps.com. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I've been playing World of Warcraft. Jacob's been playing Destiny. And, you know, you I want to hear sure. some final thoughts on both of the games, one that you adore and love okay. and have played before mm-hmm. <laughs> and one that you have been making fun of for an hour. So um, <laughs> which is which you decide. <laughs> yeah, I won't <laughs> specify, but I will say I can't wait to maybe potentially get back into it <laughs> and <laughs> and go. ride my sparrow <laughs> while shooting Destiny Listen, bad guys. Uh, please please tell me there's not a bird. Please tell me there's not a bird sparrow mount in, in WoW. Don't tell me. Because James trying to trick me. Is, don't know if there is a, um, uh, yeah. Well, I, I actually might try some Destiny. I, I, as you were playing, Jacob, I was like having all these memories like trigger that I, I played this just last year. I played with my boyfriend because he really wanted to play mm-hmm. Destiny and we played. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I did play recently. And I was like, yeah. It's kind of fun. It, I think I had a good time. Yeah, it, honestly, it is, it's like it's so much better than it what was back then. It it is a really it great couples is. game too. I'll say, at mm-hmm. least and I had a lot of fun where we'd be like, "Hey, you want to do some bounties yeah, or whatever?" We, we just logged on together, mm-hmm. and so it is a really great couples game. Um, I, Lindsay, if you're gonna get, back, I would be down to get back. Oh my, I see something drop over there. Um, I would get back into it, and I think when you have Jacob, he'll Sherpa, and mm-hmm. he'll drag you. He'll he'll drag you through yeah. all through that. Hell. That boring but it's stuff. That, the most something I try possible. to I ne- try to never do is like I never try to like be like the friend that just you know like like that Adventure Time gif where it's just like Finn running through and killing everything and then like mm. Jake oh, is yeah, following yeah, yeah. behind him and picking up all the loot. I never want to be like the person that's no. just like oh, just follow me. I'll just do all the work and you just get all the rewards because it's like people don't like play video games to just no, like yeah. do nothing. Well, the flip side of that sure. is that Jacob is such a genuine. He's exactly right and he's such a genuine person about that. Is the there will be times where Jacob like you'll say there's a destiny mission you're on and then you're fight you fight the room and then the wall explodes and a giant tyrannosaurus monster or something comes through Jacob will be like oh my god and it's but you know <laughs> he's seen this 1500 times yeah. already but since he's playing with you he's acting surprised for the first time this it's has enchanting. happened this he has happened it, so many happen. times he wants it yeah. to be enchanting for us yeah, yeah. I've got a little more nefarious. Now I know where all like the booby traps are and I just lead people into them. Like, go through that door. You got to pick a door. Go through that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels me, just as give good. Give me one more shot. Look, there's a little okay. treasure, a hidden treasure that I'm trying to find. I can't even see. Ooh. I can't even tell what I'm looking at, Lindsay. There's I just like see, a little I just icon. see UI all over the screen. I keep thinking <laughs> that one character treasure. from Monsters, Inc. The chameleon type oh, monster. No. That's what Steve Buscemi? Of. Is it oh, played yeah. by Steve Buscemi? Yeah, yeah. I don't know like how that, to get to this treasure. <laughs> so you can't. Right, it's showing me that it's underneath. Are you sure it isn't yeah. just an accident? Like I can't even see what you're trying to do. It's so funny because you yeah. you show Jacob and it's clear there's like a gun and then there's things with like basically dots over their head and then you blow them up and then that's it. And then you cut to yeah. Lindsay 
And again, this is I'm why you're, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. How, I don't know how complex. she's controlling it. Is she clicking? Is she which one laws? is she? Like, there's there's three things. To, you know, there's yeah, there's three things floating around her. One is a character from Plants vs. Zombies. Those laser beams are firing through the background. It's just, it's, Hold that. Uh, I, gotta throw my, just, I gotta throw yeah. my ice shurikens at this beast. Um, while Lindsay's finding that chest, I just want to shout out if you are watching live on Rooster Teeth right now, today on the site in the store, there's, I believe, 20% off Funhouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw knife. that this morning. Yeah. yeah, and there's a really cool new collection that just yeah. launched, the Arcade Collection, which has a Dalal Runner t-shirt, Arcade Jurassic Attack long sleeve oh. shirt. It's got an Arcade Bomber jacket that's really cool that I think you will you will like. Yeah. Um, arcade hoodie. Like, it's it's really neat, but then everything else that's in the the Funhouse store, yeah, is on sale too. It's more of a big ticket item, and I don't want to shill for us too much, but I have been the it's what is it, how the corduroy jacket? Oh yeah, that that it's like a it is part of that other yeah. I have actually been wearing cord. that a lot. I feel like it's like what uh, this, this it's one of the things that I feel like we have in our Funhouse collection that like you don't necessarily know is fun house and it's just, it's pretty good quality. But anyway, if 20% off that, I think is a pretty, pretty cool thing for a nice jacket. I wore that the other day. Yeah. And it's on my couch. Cause I saw yeah. it there. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. And I never get to wear it cause I don't go anywhere. So I was like, I'm going to put it on. Mm-hmm. And I did. It's got, just got this tiny little logo hit right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So some good stuff. If you guys are in tear, Oh, these are, are these all new lore cards here? These are new. Oh, yes, yes. Many Ooh. volumes, many volumes. I have so much to read through. Mm-hmm. Uh, so much. It's a so shame much. you can't ha- play Destiny on the toilet, huh? No, no. You could play I'm, World of Warcraft on the toilet. Can you? That's why I got this. That's why I got this. <laughs> uh-huh. Bathroom reading? Yeah. Yep. I can do my missions on my phone or on a laptop. Is, is anyway WoW on Switch? <laughs> can I get you on Switch? <laughs> Well, I was on the Switch inside Animal Crossing. Okay, I'll look. I'll check it out. Every every question house. that Elise has asked about WoW has been answered with a no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, that's not true. I said yes. There's puzzles. I just put my hand in a little that's true. like wintry um, outfit. You probably can't tell. But. Oh, me too. Hold on, my Switch is within reach. All right, come on, I've guys. I've been playing Animal down. Crossing at the same time as playing Destiny this whole time. I'm- Have you? I, I've been Either playing uh, Hyrule Warriors Calamity 8, Age of Calamity or whatever, which also feels like a game from 16 years ago, but Jacob's it's mindless and fun. Um, and then also, what else? Oh, Wonderful 101, which is also, yeah, a Wii U game. <laughs> so Which I own. I own that game. I think. I did. If unless I donated it. Uh-oh. Whoops. Um, but yeah, I never got to play it before, so I don't know. I'm looking for other than demons souls. I'm looking for more uh, laid back games that I can sit relaxed on a couch and play without any pressure or fear of not making progress. I have lots of games I can recommend to you. That and that's our time, right, Lindsay? <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for uh, watching us in the podcast, and James and Elise. Thank you for watching. I mean, I know that you probably enjoyed watching Jacob play Destiny. Thank you for taking your time and um, allowing them watching me play World War. I enjoyed watching you play WoW. <laughs> Enduring I seeing it. all your little pals and familiars. <laughs> and countless buttons. That's why I play. I just show off the pals. Buttons mm-hmm. less so. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching. And do, do I need to say anything else? Just I've never hosted this podcast. No, I mean, if you like, sometimes I like to let people know what's coming up on the channel. Let's see what, what's, what's airing this weekend. I can look it up Let's for see, you, or unless you got it. Oh, on the channel. Let's see what's on the channel this weekend. Do you know off the top of your head? Let me see. If I can see. No, I have to. Let me check my. my uh... <laughs> Thanks. Um, Sorry, audience. Sorry. Well, show de- <laughs> quick. Show destiny. Quick. Show Project destiny. Project Winter. Oh yeah. Uh, Project human Winter. fall flat. More human um, fall flat. Oh yeah. We start. We start a film house holiday bracket. Oh, this year, which is a big one. It's a three episode arc. I cried. I laughed so hard <laughs> at Christmas certain points. Is a Christmas movie. Best Christmas. Yeah, movie. Yeah. And Zach Anner and Josh Flanagan join us for that. Project Winter was a. Did Jacob? You did you cut Project Winter? No. 
No, I was in it though. I oh, cut okay. I cut bones to the bone with my axe. <laughs> uh oh, spoiler. In oh. Project Winter. I think that yeah. Wait. Yeah. I think that was a uh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but yeah, we have some fun Anyways. stuff coming. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. There's more streams coming up. Appreciate you all. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.